Hey guys, uh, welcome to our weekly episode of Focus on Sound. Uh, today we have something a little different for you, no guitars or amps, well we have guitars and amps, but uh, we're doing a delay shootout of some really cool delays that maybe aren't straight off the shelf, something a little bit more interesting, I yeah. would say. So we have, from left to right as I'm looking at them, uh, the Meris Polymoon, which is enormous, uh, <laughs> the Caroline Kilobyte, which is wicked, uh, and the Empress Tape Delay, which is so good, I bought one with money. <laughs> so, very, very good, like you say, not obvious digital delays. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just really, really, really nice, properly made stuff with a, yeah. a lot of conscientious thought given to the product of the sound. For sure, yeah. From what I can see, they all seem pretty versatile as well. They're not just straight up echoes or straight up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, shootout is a strong word because they are all so different in what they right. do. Um, okay. But uh, yeah, it's just a good opportunity to showcase some stuff that maybe, in our view, not enough people know about. We'll start off with the Meris FX Poly Moon, which Love is yep. this little white pedal here. Yes, not that small. So, <laughs> in my big white box today. That's not usable. Uh, so it's quite good, actually. <laughs> I want to keep that in. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a, 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 a very merry person on a Sunday morning singing a song. It's cool. So yeah, the Poly Moon is, uh, as I hinted to before, absolutely enormous uh, and chasming. Mm. Um, it's got enough little knobs and buttons. If you're a minimal player, this can really fill out a huge part of your sound. Um, mm. Which is just great. So here's the sort of generic setting that I uh, dialed in completely at random. Tighten that up with this dimension knob, pull it back, it basically just uh, wraps it in a little straight jacket for you. And you can affect that kind of rhythmic pattern with the, uh, the multiplier. Was that a two, a sort of two note motif there you did, or a two strum motif, or was it just repeating it? No, that was just one strum, and it does oh, this kind sweet. of rhythmic thing, like you can so dial that like in. it's got staggered timing. Exactly, yeah, you can dial this in with the multiply function, obviously everyone who knows how to use a delay pedal, will know what time feedback mix are. Yeah. Um, dynamics is uh, yeah is, is also pretty obvious, um, uh, but you'll have to ask Jack what that means. Uh, the multiplier can really give you like some nice kind of rhythmic sort of pattern. stereo pedal if you're uh, if you're into that sort of vibe and yeah again if you wind that dimension all the way up yeah uh, you kind of you know get disconnected from the satellite and go miles and miles into the abyss <laughs> it's pretty good kind of reminds me of these casmi sort of ca yeah reverbs almost it's it, it definitely occupies that same space yeah huh, if you will um, <laughs> Sonically, uh, yeah. there's also a couple of little hidden features in this as well, a little phasing option. So if we push this LED, which doubles up as a button, yeah. Oh, um, then you see the little light that says slow comes on, which yeah. adds, um, again, I won't go into all the boring kind of physics of it because it's just really dull mm -hmm. to listen to, but it adds a phasing element. <laughs> when you hit duff notes, as it turns out as well. Um, hit it again, and it doubles up with this sync phase function, which gives you a whole note uh, worth of phasing. Again, you can read it all online. It's very boring listening to me talk about it. It starts to fly past you a little bit. 
Can you adjust that phase, phasing amount? I'm sure you can. If you push that button a third and final time, it takes our slow function off and our think phase remains on, which right. gives us, uh, I think, something like a quarter note sort of phasing aspect to the repeats. Sweet. Oh, it's interesting, isn't it? If you can't make use of that, I can't help you. Um, so, Guitars and Amps this week, we're running a, um, I'll talk about the amp first, a Fender 65 reissue deluxe reverb. Is it the standard one, Adam? Uh, no, it's got a little upgrade in it. Wow! Tell us about that! <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm dying to tell everybody about it. It's got a Tone Tobby Red, or well, Alnico Red speaker in it, which is um, famously Eric Clapton's speaker of choice, uh, Carlos Santana's speaker of choice, and um, I think I think Derek Trucks has used it at mm. some point. Anyway, uh, it's a bunch of people who use them. Anyway, um, beautiful, round, big sound. Um, miking that with a SEV7 series microphone and a bit of room signal, blended in from a Z5600A Mark II. Um, guitars we have. You want to talk about yours? Yeah, we've got the uh, Music Man Valentine, uh, which is a really, really lovely guitar. Very, very versatile. Um, very good humbuckers, humbuckers which in the neck you can split into yeah. a more single coil kind of sound. And you've got a huge boost in this push push here, which I think is a, is it like twenty five decibels? Oh my gosh! It's it's, an, it's I mean that's, that's I'll give you ridiculous. one I'll give you one go. <laughs> Lovely single piece ash body, uh, very 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 flamey uh, roasted maple neck, shallow locking machine heads. Um, yeah. Stunningly flamey neck as well. It's, it's really a beautiful, beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful yeah, guitar. Beautiful yeah. guitar. And over here, since uh, guitars were, were not off limits for this video, um, I chose a guitar that I'm starting to fall in love with. To be honest, it's a original 1965 Fender Strat uh, with the lovely transition logo on it and a uh, super almost. It feels it's not super thick neck, but because it's so. It's got the seven and a quarter inch radius. It feels rounded on both sides to me. Basically, in short, I love this guitar very much. And so I had a chance to use it, so I did. Yeah. I, into the Caroline Kilobyte, so. nice lo-fi thing yeah. um, kind of fits a kind of good utility delay slot but it's got right. a lot of uh, it's got a lot of character and totally. it's got a picture of a space invader on it um, which design you, in general is just amazing it's very I very pretty it. yeah it's probably I think it might actually be the most popular delay pedal with the Regent Sound staff in really? terms of how many of us them have uh, acquired them um, yeah very good there's also a secret weapon in this, uh, in this if you give me a chord some sort of weird jazzy chord or something give you a weird spacey chord instead. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful oscillation control, which you can actually uh, toggle with the Space Invader in the top right. So if you, if you hold it down, it will just continue and as soon as you take it up. Yeah, it basically just uh, ramps that. up the oscillation. Um, I love that. It's not unique to this pedal, but this, no. this does execute that feature, I think probably slightly better than most. Yeah. Um, I would suggest, but you know, who cares what I think, right? I'm wearing shorts. It's got those lovely sort of soft release buttons on it as well. Yeah, so, electronic uh, switches rather which, than uh, big clunky mechanical switches, yeah. which when you have something like uh, an oscillation control, you don't really want. You don't want that That sort no. of clipping kind of uh, a bit softer. You risk noisiness. Yeah. And the little knob in the middle is a modulation control. It's, it's kind of becoming a standard on most yeah. sort of traditional delays now to have that modulation feature.
that feature. It's cool. But I also love that, I don't know if you can hear it, certainly on that one, that's focusing on the overtones. So when you're repeating, it's bringing out those harmonic overtones above the fundamentals. So you really get this, it's really, yeah. really pretty. Every again, chord. That's your, your, your little Space Invader control, which is technically is the attack um, right. toggle. Uh, kind of helps to really control those dynamics as yeah. well. Um, I mean, it's maybe the character, the delay that it focuses on certain frequencies. Yeah. I guess it's the way that the decay... That's, that's why we like Caroline pedals in general. They yeah. have a lot of character. They take that's a sort superb. of yeah, fundamental idea, yeah. execute it really well, but then just give it a little bit of a twist. And yeah, a lot of the kind of the good kind of boutique guys who maybe don't get enough credit yeah. uh, have that sort of feature to them, like Fairfield and, uh, yeah. and guys like that. I mean, what, one of my biggest bugbears with delay pedals is that if you're playing something, it's not, it's not a bugbear, it's just a thing of the way they are. Mm. If you're playing something and it repeats what you're playing, which is what they typically do, um, you get clashing, right? Quite yeah. often. Yeah. So yeah. by yeah, having a pedal be. that focuses on a slightly different frequency, like that seems to really, that really honed in on those overtones for me, I'm not yeah. sure. And as a result, if you were to play over it, your existing sort of real-time playing mm -hmm. comes across a lot it cuts above it so yeah. it's uh, <coughs> simple but with a lot of control yeah like me <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to analyse that hmm. and come back to it good moving on to the Empress I presume this one is ridiculously versatile there's a uh, it's, it's yeah it's four uh, dip switches <laughs> it is uh, far more user friendly than perhaps a pedal with four knobs and four dip switches and two uh, two electronic switches might uh, appear. Right. Mix. You know what that is. It's yep. just a blend between your, your dry signal and your delay signal. Um, D time. When yep. it's time for D. Uh, or ratio. Um, so that's basically just if you want to dial in the time, as you would on any delay pedal. Um, yeah. Feedback. It's feedback. Output. Yeah, just a simple gain control. Um, yeah, very straightforward stuff. Yeah. Go up to the four dip switches, and it kind of remains that uh, intuitive. Tape age, because obviously this is simulating an old tape delay, and for me, right. the reason I bought it is it's probably the best tape delay simulationing pedal without uh, without actually going for the full expensive, probably will break old, uh, old units. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you can select if you've got a new tape, if you want that slightly more snappy, again, more digitally kind of... Uh, Vibe, vintage, nice and wobbly, old, really wobbly. Um, delay time, basically using the ratio knob, whether it's a slow delay, a fast delay, or on the far left here, you just incorporate your tap. So whatever you've left that on, that will remember it for you. Um, right. Filter, no filter, high pass filter, low pass filter, just giving you a bit more control over the tone and what kind of, uh, what kind of travels through. And yep. finally, modulation. Again, easy, that kind of DM2 feature, but rather than having the little knob, you've just got a little bit, a lot of it, or none of it. Also, it looks really pretty on my board. Kicking <laughs> this. frequency select repeat on that particular setting mm -hmm. it's not muddying over what I'm playing it, it does it kind of fills out the sound in a slightly if you said it as such uh, in a slightly more subtle way than uh, yeah, something like the polymoon which kind of just it's just develops overwhelming you in, yeah in, in this incredible atmosphere uh, the kilobyte again is just a brilliant utility delay um, yeah yeah this is yeah, a proper tape delay something you can just run in the background or you yes. can turn it right up to do your full rockabilly slapback thing it's the um, least obtrusive Repeat. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice, yeah, a nice, yeah, a nice harmonious uh, kind of pedal. In all the time that we have had these uh, these brands and many others at Region Sounds, right. I just wanted to create a whale sound for some reason. <laughs> In all the time we've had uh, these 
company's pedals in Regent Sounds. Uh, we've never had any of them come back for any kind of failure or technical fault. Yeah. Um, um, should we talk about this power supply? Sure. Um, it's a Keox DC5. It's a very, very good power supply, and I believe it's made in Poland. Um, they're really good. Get one before everybody hears about them and the prices go skyrocketing because of how good they are. Your favourite would be the Empress, I guess, because you bought it. Uh, yeah, however, um, I've, I might be considering getting the Kilobyte as well. The po- I just want all of them, basically. Like The, the Meris stuff is staggeringly good. Yeah. Um, yeah, you definitely check their stuff out because, again, not that many people in this country have heard of them yet. And yeah. Uh, yeah, their, their reverb is chasming and they have another pedal called the Otterbit, which is just nonsense in a box. It's fantastic. Nice. Um, yeah. I think on our second Tone Chain Tuesday video, which was with Jack, uh, we used the Mercury 7, which is their, yes. their reverb. And, yeah. uh, that Go and check that video out. Absolutely. That. We'll link to that in the description, actually. I don't know about you guys, but so far my favourite is turning out to be the Kilobyte. Yep. Uh, I absolutely love that sort of like sustain pedal kind of feature. Um, and also the fact that it really focuses on a different spectrum and takes the repeat somewhere a bit crazy. I kind of like it. And it's got a Space Invader on it. And it's got a, it, the graphics and design are amazing. Yeah. yeah. I love it. <laughs> sensible loafer to ever touch a havoc switch. <laughs> put them both on, shall I? I might put the other one on as well. Let's go ham! Let's try and play something, I suppose. <laughs> you don't even have to play anything, it's just gonna... <laughs> 